What is up, guys? Duganander9 here. Gonna give you a quick live stream review and impressions video of uh, one of the new Dragon's Keep maps from Peony Garden. Uh, I love Peony Garden. Pearl Market. I'm an idiot. Um, came out a couple days ago with the Dragon's Teeth DLC. Um, this map is probably the most contentious of all the maps. I think people are split pretty evenly about whether they like it, they hate it, they don't know what to think about it. There's just so much that goes on in this map. Um, it's, it's an absolute insanity map. I, do, I personally, I don't know if I like it, I don't know if I hate it yet. We'll see. You know, I think it's going to take a while. And remember in the last Lymphini Gardens video, I was talking about how far you spawn. I'm 72 meters away from what I spawned at. I'm about 75 meters away from Echo. So, I'm basically the same distance from a point that I didn't spawn on, a point that I don't even have. So that to me is a little bit strange. I, again, I, it could be because they need to do that so that you don't immediately die. I, I really, I don't know. But it's really strange to me that you could spawn 70 meters Maybe I just haven't been, like, paid enough attention on different maps to notice how far you normally spawn away, but that just seems like a very far distance. Let's get in there. Oh, man. Yeah, I think the reason this map is so contentious right now is because there's so many angles, there's verticality, there's just a little bit of everything, and I think a lot of people view it more as like a Call of Duty style map than they do like a, a Battlefield style map. I, I don't really know what would be the best way that I would know how to describe it. This almost kind of looks like a Titanfall map. It was the map that was in the Titanfall beta. One of the two maps that was in there. This reminds me a lot of that. I'm not saying it's necessarily a bad map. I'm sure a lot of people are having a lot of fun with it. Um, I just... There's so much going on, it's difficult to kind of keep track of all of it, I guess. Because right here, I mean, there's... Downstairs. There's that set of stairs. There's that set of stairs. They all go up and down. Flag stop capping. Now I'm freaking out. Where are they coming from? I don't really know. So it's a little bit terrifying when you're on a uh, when you're on a flag like this because you have absolutely no idea where you should be looking, where you shouldn't be looking. I think there's a guy down here, and there's not. Yeah. So I didn't mean I, I could have sworn I saw a guy, but I guess not. The map itself is actually fairly large, considering the style of combat I guess that, that you're playing on here. Because you would think that an infantry-centric map like this would actually be fairly small, but it's a pretty large map overall. Um, pretty good distance between the actual uh, capture points themselves. Um, as far as balance goes, no, no one team really seems to have a particular advantage compared to another, as far as I can tell. I've only played it probably about five, five to seven times so far. Like I said, no one team really seems to have a great advantage over another. Yeah, and I'm still new enough on these maps that I have absolutely no idea where I'm going most of the time. And I think that's going to be the case for probably at least the next month. Uh, two weeks, obviously, you know, you're going to be seeing a lot of... Uh, a lot of people that haven't gotten around to playing Dragon's Teeth, or the people that were premium members that got Dragon's Teeth, they're fucking around with it, having a good time. Um, and then, of course, there's going to be the people that actually want to buy Dragon's Teeth uh, that aren't necessarily premium members, and they're going to want to check the map out. So I think, you know, this map will probably stay alive for a while, at least long enough to... Uh, just long enough that you can get whatever... I guess there's no unlocks. I was going to say get whatever unlocks you want on this map. But there's no 
no one locks on this map. So I think this whole... <sighs> I think this is going to be a map that people either really love or they really hate. I don't think there's going to be any any people that are in the middle middle of the road on this map. I think it's it's going to be, yes, I love this map, or no, this map fucking blows. Why did they put it on this game? Fuck you guys. Why you do this? Me personally, I don't quite know where I sit yet. Was that a quad? How did that boy get back up? So yeah, I mean, I just got a grenade from upstairs. I don't. There he is. I don't. Know, I have no idea how that guy got up there. I don't know where I'm going. I don't know what I'm doing. But my quads, my trips. That's all I'm saying. So yeah, I mean, if, if you're a person that really enjoys up close infantry combat, you're probably gonna like this map. Um, as far as weapon recommendations on this map, I definitely think you want to use something like a uh, like the MG4. That's what I've been using. I've been really enjoying it. I'm mainly an assault player, to be honest, but I I like the ability to have that 200 rounds. I think something like a bulldog would be extremely weak on a map like this. Simply because, sure, you can do a ton of damage. Sure, you can dish it out fairly quickly. But at the end of the day, you're going to be having to reload so many times that I just don't think that gun's going to work. I think something like the MG4 is going to be probably the go-to weapon on this map, at least for me. That that's, that's what I'm using. I think larger magazines are going to be... I think that's going to be the way to go. Could be wrong. I don't know. Let me over, bruh. The dubs. I don't know how that guy didn't see me. But I think, uh, I think larger magazines are going to be the way to go. Maybe even something like the, uh... The Ace-21? It's a decent gun, does decent damage. Shooting my own team. I think, but yeah, if you're not using an LMG on this map, you're doing it wrong. High rates of fire. The MTAR is probably going to be pretty popular on this map as well. Just because it's got a crazy rate of fire. It's really, it, the MTAR is kind of built for, for maps like this almost, you could say. Just because it's great, you know, great up close. Huge, massive rate of fire. Fairly easy to control the recoil, in my opinion. But it's, it's, for me, it's the MG4 all day long. Nothing, nothing else. And of course, this is conquest. It could could end up being different in rush or you know capture the flag. Although I, I really don't see capture the flag sticking around long enough for anyone to really care about it. Maybe if there's some sort of like I, I don't know, get something special for playing a game, capture the flag. Maybe, maybe you'll see people do it, but. There's no long-term viability for capture the flag, but we have taken objective alpha. I don't know. I enjoy the map for the most part. It gets a little hectic if you have a bad team. I do like that they put an Amtrak on here instead of an LAV or a tank. I think that kind of... It's not too powerful. It's not too difficult to blow up. I think it's just the right mixture of... Kind of something that can fuck you up if you're not careful. Um, versus something that's, you know, relatively easy to take down, given, you know, given the proper tools. That's why I also like this class, you know, support class with the MG4, because I can run, uh, I can run C4, and it's fairly easy to take out the, uh, fairly easy to take those little Amtraks out, as you saw earlier, when I got the dubs. That's my basic review of the map. That's what I think. So if you guys like the, uh, if you like the the content, make sure and give a thumbs up. If you like the channel and you like the content on the channel, make sure and hit the subscribe button. If you guys ever want to check me out when I live stream, I do that quite a bit. It's uh, Twitch.tv/slash Doobie. Appreciate you guys hanging out. Take it easy.